You're welcome and thank you for joining us today in this exclusive interview with Jacob A. Osai as we discuss his upcoming novel entitled DNA Origins. Hello Jacob, you're welcome. Hello Julia, thank you very much for having me. Um, it's been a while, what have you been up to? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of work actually, writing, working, eating and also sleeping. So it's like, but just in a few months to come, I'll be launching a special work I've been working on for the past two years titled DNA Origins. And I'm so excited that I'm going to be talking about that in this exclusive interview. Okay, so from the blurb of the book, I can see that it's very interesting. So this is book number four. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Okay, so can you share with the viewers what this book is actually about? Yeah, so DNA origins, just like the name suggests, DNA is a science word and origins mean beginning. So yeah, it's another science fiction novel that explores the origin of human life, like where life actually began. There's so many schools of thought about how life began on Earth in physics, chemistry, biology, in creation, in all other religions. They have their own origin story of life. But I take this story to ask that very important question about our origin, how life began here on Earth. Because it's a very important aspect of our life. So we cannot really know where we are going if we don't know where we came from. So in general, so being origin is basically a story that is going to prove us to ascertain the true origin of our life here on Earth. Okay. That's great. I don't want you going too much into the book because it's a very good book and I want all the viewers to purchase this book. They should grab their copy so that they can really get to read this and understand it. It's, it's an amazing work. Alright, so can you tell us about STEM education? Yes, STEM education is, as people already know, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. As a science fiction writer, I I was an educator, so it's actually something that I've been doing for I think, the past 12 years. STEM is actually the future of Africa. You know, there's so much debate about whether you know science is uh, science and technology is actually something that is giving so much space in Africa. But you can see the shades of the technology that's rising up, coming up. You know, young people building apps, building companies all in the name of technology and science because they believe that that's the best way to solve most of the problems that we're facing. So STEM education in Ghana, or in Africa, is very important. And as a science fiction writer, I'm just contributing and inspiring the young people to go into STEM through my novels. So that's what I'm trying to do. So STEM is the future. STEM is the way for Africa. So why did you decide to go into science fiction and fantasy novels? Yeah, I went into it because I didn't have I wanted to read some by Ghanaian, but I didn't have any. Even though I had books that were written by people who had massive science, science background, some were medical doctors, some were physicists, but I didn't discover any Ghanaian author who was writing science fiction. Okay, so in doing that, what were some of the challenges you experienced in this field? Yeah, so um, as a science student, as a science person, and some of the creative abilities for me was so exciting to use these theories and principles that I learned in class to create stories with them. The only challenge I had was how people, the reaction and the reception of people. Because mostly, the, when it comes to science fiction, you know, people think of America, Europe, because it's believed that only white people can tell science fiction stories. Like black people, we, we don't tell science stories about how much science do you know. So the only challenge I encountered was the reception and people trying to accept the fact that black people can also tell infallible science stories like black Panther. So now, now let's go back to why we are here. I'd like to know, like let the viewers know, when is this book going to be launched? Yeah, so DNA Origin comes up on the 29th of April, um, 1 p.m. at the University of the University of Ghana and, and it promised to be a day packed with a lot of creative activities, not only the launch of the book, but we do infallible artistry. We display the multi explicited, you know, Parts of science that okay. you know, people think science is all about engineering and just medical science, but there's so much artistry, there's so much creativity in science, and that's what we seek to show the audience on that day. 
Okay, so do you have any social media and those telephone numbers that the viewers can call to contact you? Yes, so my name is Jacob Yelsa is on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Yeah, and at the end of this video, we'll put my contact just below this video. So in case you want to get in touch, my contact and email will be available on this video, at the end of this video. So you can reach out if you want to partner up with the book line, if you want to make free order copies of the book coming up in April, you can also do so. Okay. So you all have this for yourselves. Um, the DNA Origin is a very interesting book and I will entreat everyone to grab their copies. Okay? And please, please support this and make sure you make time to attend the launch at the University of Ghana.